let's talk about Jason Schreier, supposedly a journalist, or maybe a sensationalist fuck who thinks himself as a journalist. Whatever the hell does that means in this modern time where anyone is important and has some sort of social platform to elevate their bias as truth or alternate fact. But he is a journalist, focus on video game epics, maybe plays some from time to time, and leaks more information than a person with a bladder problem. I'm of course a journalist too, so here are my elations concerning the nature of journalism, and some considerations about the weather inside Jason Schreier's skull. Anatomically, his head is so deep inside his own ass that the byproduct of his thinking tends to focus on a shitty thought process, it is a form of derogatory selection based on his affinity towards the object of his scrutiny. In this case, Naughty Dog. A reputable software house that doesn't escape the dramas of crunching coercion that are bound to happen, strangely only when you work on a big studio like that or, let's say, like Santa Monica, because if your studio is small like Jason's dick, all is well for those assholes who are fucked by it. Thankfully, Jason Schreier, the voice of the oppressed, exists to denounce the corporate iniquities, even if that means, paradoxically, to bury more of the voices that he wants to save. An interesting case of self-righteous moralism. To keep this diatribe short, because I have other things to think about besides the prickery of this prick, let's try to understand his journalism raison d'etre. Some days ago he argued on Twitter, a platform popular for its parsimonistic virtues on the subject of writing something. That the opinion of Jeff Kanata and his thoughtful comparison between the emotions felt when playing The Last of Us Part Two and Spielberg's timeless masterpiece, Schindler's List, lacked sensibility for the real tragedy that the movie portrays. As if it was not unprofessional enough to use a social platform as a means to impose what can and cannot be said, sustaining that argument the help of the sheep under his influence as a quote-unquote journalist, like some kind of moral legislator and righteous censor, Jason, I'm a Jew, Schreier, uses the autocomization rhetoric to back up his principles. Adding that he'd asked some of his family members for their thoughts about the comparison but they died on Auschwitz. Cue the sad violin music. We all are educated enough to understand the barbaric nature of the Holocaust. So the self-pity oratory comes as a pathetic excuse to validate his own arguments and persuade the spectators through a manipulative pathos. After this he even does the same as Jeff did, and compares video games with films based on the Holocaust, but in an ironical way, to prove his biased point of view. A method as ingenious as this tends to backfire, because it proposes an alternate truth that maybe his victim shield is just a pretext to say whatever he wants without consequences. Jason Schreier is now part of Bloomberg, and this is his most recent written prose, coincidentally about the same game that stirred all the former controversy. Here are some of the highlights. Will anyone want to play a game about a terrible pandemic in the midst of a terrible pandemic? If players or their parents are enough for the emotional brutality that made the first game so indelible, The Last of Us Part Two may not for the blockbuster Sony needs. Then comparing a story-driven, adult-oriented survival horror game, as if the label is not redundant enough, with Nintendo's kitsch masterpiece, Animal Crossing, he says, Instead of roaming a post-apocalyptic U.S., its players inhabit an idyllic island full of friendly animals. Concluding this well-thought article in a somewhat ironical note, Sony needs to keep gamers excited about the PS4 as it transitions to a newer model. It's betting a violent vision of an infectious disease apocalypse will do the trick. This journalism was brought to you by Bloomberg, professional and impartial work of a, quote-unquote, writer, who happens to be a, quote-unquote, journalist. That's what video games breed after becoming a multi-billion dollar business, leech like demagogues that represents the highest truth in terms of diegetic forms of expression. All who oppose beings like him are bound to be wrong. And that's the truth.